Those were the days, weren't they? Bow wow wow, go wild in the country where the snakes in the grass are absolutely free. Well, if only it were true. We only have three species of snake in the UK and pretty much all of them are in trouble. But today I've come to a quiet corner of the West Midlands to meet a lady who's a true champion of the adder. The adder is Britain's only venomous snake and as such has very few friends amongst the general public. Yet it's actually a very secretive snake and adder bites on humans are rare. Their striking zigzag patterning helps them blend into their favourite habitat, but it's also now been used to identify individuals. It's as unique to an adder as a fingerprint is to a human. This remarkable discovery was just one of the insights into the snake's world made by 74-year-old Sylvia Sheldon. Sylvia, you have to tell me, how did, how did you get into adders? I started photographing them and cutting their, their uh, heads heads out and sticking them in this ancient little book I was aware that they were very individual how many do you think that you've identified over the years oh, hundreds. hundreds yes and hundreds. they're all different and they're all different mm. do you know what I've got to say Sylvia that this is one of the most incredible documents that I've ever had the privilege to handle I was once able to handle some of Darwin's notes and some of Wallace's specimens but this is right up there it really is because it it's so obviously a, a fantastic work of natural history. You must never, ever <laughs> lose this. This must be handed down through generations. It's absolutely exquisite. I've got to tell you, do you have a favourite adder? Years ago, we had um, porn. Uh, we followed him for several years. Years ago, I had porn, but <laughs> my mum threw most of it away. Um, now, though, I think it's time for Adder Mastermind. Oh, yes. Think you know your adders? I do. That's Marie. Marie is correct. And that is Hugh. H-U-E. For his colour. Oh, and that's BBM. Broken birch mail. Wow. <laughs> Superb. Thank you very much. I'm going to test you now mm. on punk rock albums. What a slippery customer. Susie and the Banshees, Once Upon a Time, the singles. Oh, well done, well done. It's the jam. All right. <laughs> All mod cons. Well done, well done, 10 out of 10. Wow, surely we're both feeling pretty smug now. Yes, I think we should be. Mm. Should we go and see some real snakes? I think we should, yes. It took no time at all for Sylvia to lead me to yes, one of her study yes. snakes. Yes. This is uh, Marie. She's only a young female. Could be a first breeding year. H how old is young? Six and a half. But if six and a half is young, how old is old? The oldest one we have on the site, and I think she's about 32. 32. I first recognised her in 1984 when really? she was mature. Yeah. Beautiful creatures, don't you think? Oh, well, they're stunning. I think they Absolutely are. Absolutely yes. stunning. Sylvia's dedication is infectious and it's rubbed off on her grandson Alonzo and her close friend Chris. They've now joined her in a new project to radio tag some of her best known snakes and map their daily movements. Interpreting these maps is helping to reveal much, much more about how adders use their habitat. So it started under this tree. Yes, he, he, he went up here. Uh, and did, uh, was mating and combating. This is quite a traveller. Yeah. This is the Marco Polo of adders. <laughs> but, you know, this is also a, a unique opportunity because we can get underneath the skin of the adder and, right. we, and, and, and we charter that course ourselves, can't we? We can. Let's do it. Direction. Let's see what happens. Right. This is remarkable because it's going from what I would call addery habitat yes. into, look, oak woodland. Oak woodland, yes. This is the, um, so look, this is the pond here. That's right. Mm -mm. So he crossed over the stream a bit further up. Yes. This project has just given us so much information about the habitat that adders will use. Uh, and it really, it's going to help a lot with management in the future, we hope. 
I certainly hope so. Sylvia's work and the insight into Adder life it's revealing is truly worthy of geek status. So I struck a deal involving, surprise, surprise, a cup of tea and a stuffed poodle. Well, Sylvia, you kept your side of the bargain. A fine cup of tea, biscuits at the ready, superb. <laughs> and here's mine, the very prestigious, one of only a handful of geek awards. You can make your acceptance speech now. I'm going to sit back and enjoy it. Oh, I feel very privileged to have Mr. Scratchy. Scratchy, yes, red collar. He's the studious one. Yeah, mm. very privileged to uh, to have this award. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs>